to look at the solar eclipse or not? That's the question. So many are asking, um, they have conflicting information because they have been given um, recommendations on to look at the uh, solar eclipse or not to look at the solar eclipse. And I'm going to basically explain it to you, and then you can be the judge on what you decide which is right for you. So there is, we've already, we've already talked about the negative and positive of polarities, right? And if you haven't seen that video, go back and look at it. I'll explain it to you, and, but we're going to move on. So basically, you have two different sides, okay? So you have, you have the God side and you have the Satan side, okay? You have give, which is God, and it expands, which is positive. Positive creates um, oxygen, which gives and expands. Satan is a negative. It takes and contracts, period. That's all you have. All of the atoms or anything in nature, whether it's nature or synthetic, that's what it does. The sun gives. The moon takes. The sun makes your body alkaline, and on the negative side, your, the moon makes you acid. It cools. On the positive side, you have higher consciousness, right, because you're basically given energy, and so it causes vibration, so therefore you're expanded, you're conscious, you're thinking of more light and color, and you're more um, basically at a, higher, at a higher resonance or vibration. On the acid side, you start to come together, you get conglomerated, you get stagnant, and you pull together, and so you have low consciousness because your brain is not expanded, you are single or simple-minded. Um, nature is a part of the positives. Um, the counterfeit of nature with is your synthetics and all of your GMOs is negative, it pulls. You have positive frequencies, obviously, on this side. You have negative frequencies on this side, and that is not exclude. I mean, that is everything. That's nature, it's um, sound. It is light, it is um, food, it is, anyways, so on. If you are of the positive mind, you have sound mind, you think clearly, you know you can make decisions rapidly, um, you have um, basically God gives you things to think about and he imprints them on your body. And if you are of the negative, you are not sound of mind, you are not thinking straight. This is like when sundowners happens. So when sundowners happens, they're not sound of mind already, they're not healthy, and then when the um, sun goes down, the moon is in um, more abundance, and especially during a full moon, that's why a lot of people go crazy who are unhealthy, um, or don't, not necessarily crazy, I'm just using that as a general statement of they don't make good decisions, and more things happen during that time because we don't realize it, and that's, that's not, a, I mean, that's every day, right, so when we go out at night, we usually make more bad decisions at night, and um, we tend to regret them the next day because because of that. So even at nighttime, we tend to make bad decisions rather than if we were during the day. So it just gets um, it gets more increased when the moon is um, at full capacity. So when you are positive, you're healthy, so you shine with vibration, which is why when you're healthy, you basically your minerals are vibrating, your body gives off a light, and then you can give energy to people, which is why those people, like the priests and stuff, usually you're supposed to be clean, cleansing their body. They're supposed to be more sound mind, which means they have higher vibration. That means when they touch someone, they can actually give energy and heal the body and create vibration in them. Or if you um, are unhealthy, that's why you're looking for them to give you energy, and then you're actually pulling from them. So let's go to the negative side. If, you're, if you are dark and you are not shining, right, you're taking from people. You are pulling. So when you see someone walk through the door, you can almost tell if they're going to be of sound mind or not. That's kind of where we go off of our first impressions and um, kind of when we're like, mm, we're using our discernment, something ain't right here, or I just absolutely love them, I'm attracted to them. That's, that's what you're doing. You're, you're going off their biosphere field, right? Like you're, you're literally registering how healthy they are in, in everything. So then if you go to the positive, just to explain it hurts, you're, if you're of sound of mind, your body is usually resonating um, higher. And the frequencies that are on the positive side are from 700 or more, and it goes down to about 200, a little less than that. If you're of the negative side, in other words, when you get so low in vibration, you flip polarities and you go to the 175 hertz, down to 10 or below, you aren't... You, you're stagnant, so you're not making good decisions. And these are a lot of emotions that are on this side. So when you're unhealthy and you're on this side, you honestly cannot help but think negative. You, you, you literally, so when you start to get healthy and you start to eat better and, and start to cleanse, you have no ability other than to think more positive. That's why when people start cleansing and start um, helping, you know, basically changing their diet, 
their attitude usually gets better because they're matching the vibration of their body, which is also related to emotions. So in a nutshell, what this is, is do you look at the moon um, or during the solar eclipse or not? Well, if the moon is a polar, right, and it's of negative frequency and the sun's energy is blocked out, then should you look at the moon? You know, sailors back in the day had a whole entire, I mean, a lot of people basically were a fear of the moon, right? Because it does pull from your body. And even being outside, the moon is a lesser light. So it actually pulls from your body instead of giving. So do you want to contract? I mean, do you want that to be pulled from your body and lower your vibration? Um, I know people seem to think that it's a good idea, but that's completely up to you. It will pull from you, though. Um, I mean, a lot of us, we're already feeling the pulls, right? Like as it gets closer, it's pulling that energy from the sun already. Blocking it out, it's just going it, to, it's just going to take, you know, full capacity, but it's already pulling from the moon or from the sun. So we're already feeling it. There's a lot of people who are feeling nauseous or getting headaches or having all kinds of health, you know, symptoms um, in regards to that. And also, let me tell you something as well. Um, when you go off of negative frequencies and it destructurizes your the polarity of your water, so ionizing radiation literally destructure destroys your cells. It, it literally makes them, it pulls everything out of balance. So therefore, it exposes the nucleus and it makes you unhealthy. So therefore, cu- causing oxidative stress and it removes the oxygen from your cells, so you feel like you can't breathe, right? And that's r- relatable back to the um, cause of ionizing radiation, like 5G towers and everything else. So if people who are already on the bad side, you go in, well, whether you're going to look in at moon gaze or not, um, when, this, when the sun gets blocked out, I mean, you're basically going to have all kinds of symptoms. And whether that appears to be viruses or not, you know, there's a lot of, um, it's kind of funny how it's core, like this is kind of correlating with supposable viruses coming around when people are already feeling symptoms. So they may look to appear as viruses. So that's another rabbit hole in itself as far as frequencies and viruses. But at the end of the day, that's all there is. There is nature of God, right? And there is the synthetic pool of Satan. That's really what it is. Which side are you on, right? And are we trying to get on this side or are you trying to get on this side? Because many people want to get on this side. (laughs) Many people like to get on that side of of nature. I mean, or whatever. I mean, that's what they do. They look gloom they they strive to do that over here you don't really see a lot of demons and stuff when you start flipping this polarity you're jumping into a whole nother realm so you actually start seeing things that are on the lower vibration um because you're not of sound mind right and so you start seeing things you start having um you know health issues because of you know people claim that you're you know schizophrenic or whatever because you start to see other things that typically people don't see if they're in a higher vibration or they're higher they're in a different um, sound of mind or at a different resonance, their entire brain shifts of what they see and, and what they can um, imagine. And that's why a lot of these people usually strive for this for business owners or creativity or anything because they're trying to become like sound of mind and more vibrational and they're attractive because they have something to give. Whereas they people don't, they usually like life, we call them life suckers. They pull energy from your body. They make you feel tired when you're around them. There's always, you know, something going on in their life and, um, you know, they drain you. So anyways, the, I don't know if that helps you out or not, but at the end of the day, I'm going to stay on this side. So I'm going to do the best I can to protect myself and stay on the resonant side where my energy doesn't get pulled because at the end of the day, you know, it's just a personal choice. So I don't know. Hope that helps.